He will be presenting his topic. Thank you very much. So, welcome you all. Uh, I am Edwin Rustamli. Uh, let me introduce myself firstly, then I will talk about my topic. Uh, the title is Conductive Polymers, A New Era in Technology. So, I am Edwin Rustamli, as I said. Uh, I am working as a chemist at Intertech Company in oil and gas industry and the executive director of Azerbaijan Chemical Society. And I'm also a PhD at Baku State University. My research area is conductive polymer. Here's my outline. Uh, I will give you a brief introduction about conductive polymers, their properties and applications. Uh, then you will see the uh, construction and characterization of electrochromic device. Uh, the organic polymers with conductive electricity are known as conductive polymers. About 40 years ago, uh, all the carbon-based polymers were thought to be insulators, uh, but in 1977, it was found by uh, Dr. Shrikawa, Alan McDermott, and Alan Higger that films of polyethylene increase their conductivity when they, they are exposed to iodine vapor. In 2000, these three scientists received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery and development of conductive polymers. As I said, in 1977, conduction of polyethylene in uh, acid by doping iodine, uh, acid by doping iodine, uh, the halogen doping uh, transforms polyethylene to a good conductor like a metal. Oxidation with iodine uh, to be causes uh, to be jerked out of the electrons of the conjugated polymer and the leaving holes in the form of positive charge. As you see here, uh, this uh, positive charge can move along the chain. Uh, removing electrons from conjugated polymer or inserting electrons into the conjugated polymer, this process is called uh, doping process. And uh, this, mat this material used in this process is called dopant. There are two types of doping process, uh, oxidation with halogen or uh, P-doping, uh, and the reduction with alkali metal, uh, this is also called N-doping. Uh, the typical properties of conductive polymers are uh, conductivity, flexibility, elasticity, stability, strength, ease of handling, and uh, in addition to these properties, they are cheap in uh, compared with other material uh, for using in some applications. Uh, due to uh, these attractive properties, uh, conductive polymers can be used in specific applications such as uh, organic solar cells, uh, organic light emitting diodes, uh, biosensors and electrochromic devices or uh, smart windows. Uh, let's look at some of these uh, applications. The first, organic solar cell. A solar cell is a device that converts the energy of sunlight into the electricity uh, in a response to electric current by the photovoltaic effect. Uh, here is the structure of organic solar cell. Uh, glass substrate, indium tinoxide anode, active layer. Active layer is the conductive polymer. Here is the P.PSS bulk heterojunction, junction. And lithium fluoride and the cathode usually uh, used aluminum, calcium, or uh, magnesium. Let's look at the working principle of the organic solar cell. Uh, when the sunlight comes into the surface of uh, organic solar cell, uh, past the glass substrate and indium tinoxide anode, and uh, uh, arrive to uh, active layer. Uh, photons create holes and electrons in active layer, and then the holes go to the anode, and the electrons go to the cathode, produce current and voltage. Uh, another interesting application of uh, conductive polymers is the organic light emitting diode. Uh, and OLED is, the light emitting, is one of the type of light emitting diode in which the emissive electroluminescent layer uh, is organic compound. Uh, this organic compound emits light uh, in a response to electric current. Uh, the first picture is the structure of uh, OLED uh, glass substrate. This also may be flexible, uh, plastic or other. Uh, indium tinoxide anode, uh, conductive layer, emissive layer, and the cathode, usually aluminum, calcium, or magnesium. Uh, this, uh, both of these layers are small molecules, maybe small molecules, or the conductive polymers. And the second picture is the working principle of organic light emitting diode. Uh, let's look at how all it creating a light. When the voltage applied to electrochromic uh, OLED, uh, when the voltage applied to OLED, the uh, cathode 
uh, give electrons, cut to give electrons to the emissive layer and the anode remove electrons from conductive layer. Uh, this also means that uh, anode give holes uh, to conductive layer. Holes are the positive charges. Then, uh, due to attract, uh, electrostatic attract, holes jump uh, to emissive layer and combine with electrons. After they combine, uh, they release the extra energy as a form of light. Here you can see the flexible, different flexible OLED displays. Uh, OLEDs uh, are used to create digital displays, such as TV screens, uh, computer monitors, and portable devices such as uh, mobile phones, digital uh, mobile phones, and digital newspapers, and other type of TV uh, screens. We polymerize the uh, conducting polymers according to donor acceptors theory because uh, minimizing the band gap is the important goal for the maximizing of conductivity. Uh, according to donor acceptors theory, if the both of donor and acceptor group will be in a uh, conjugated polymer, we can obtain optimum small band gap. Band gap is the distance between the valence band and, uh, valence band and the conduction band. Here is the synthetic route for the monomers which I have synthesized. The uh, first one is the typhon containing and the another one is the tiny typhon containing. Uh, then uh, heterochemical polymerization of these monomers uh, achieved and the cycle voltmetry styles were explored. Cycle voltmetry is a convenient way of analyzing electroactivity of monomers and obtaining of oxidation and reduction peak potentials of uh, polymers. For the first monomer, uh, oxidation potential was observed at 0 0.9 to 5 volt, and uh, for the second monomer, uh, uh, absorption oxidation potential was observed at 1 volt. Spectral electrochemistry is the combination of electrochemical and spectroscope methods. Uh, here uh, we use the three electrode electrochemical cell, uh, indium tinoxide anode as a working electrode, platinum as counter electrode, and uh, uh, argentium as a reference electrode. Spectral chains were explored by uh, using UV visible near infrared spectrophotometer, and uh, maximum absorptions were recorded for the both of uh, polymers. For the uh, first, for the, for the first polymers, maximum absorption, uh, maximum absorption was absorbed, uh, was absorbed at uh, different. Uh, nanometer and uh, the band gap calculated from the onset of this transition. Uh, for the first polymer, the band gap was uh, two electron volt, and the, for the second polymer, the band gap calculated uh, 1.7 electron volt. Electrochromism is the uh, one of the type of chromism. Uh, this is reversible and visible change in color of an applied potential, and uh, this potential leads to oxidation and reduction. Color change uh, between transparent state and the color, uh, colored state, or uh, between two colored states. Also, organic material exhibit, uh, may exhibit several colors. This term is multichromic, and this process is called multicolor electrochromism. Here you can see the uh, different uh, con conductive polymers, color chains in intermediate, neutral, and in doped or p-doped states. And here you can see the color chains of my polymers. Uh, as you see, my s both of my polymers were multichromic, and the chains colors from uh, yellow to blue, but second polymer exhibited uh, in intermediate state green color too. And the genetic studies of uh, both of polymers were conducted in order to determine switching times and the person transmittance chains of polymers. Uh, switching time is the time required for switching two extreme states of polymers. For the uh, first polymer, switching, switching time is the one second at uh, 490 nanometer, and uh, for the second polymer, switching, minimum switching time is the uh, 0.2 second at uh, 608 nanometer. And uh, we construct electrochromic device uh, using my second polymer and the uh, common conjugated polymer, PIDOT, polyethylene dioxotiophene. Uh, PIDOT is cut anode color coloring, and my second polymer is cathode color coloring. These polymers are coated 
onto the transparent indium tinoxide uh, electrodes, and uh, the gel electrolyte uh, was spread onto the polymer, uh, on polymer coated sides of electrodes. And then these electrodes sandwich under the atmospheric conditions. After the uh, assembling uh, device, uh, cathode color coloring uh, uh, pedot is fully oxidized, and uh, my second polymer is fully reduced. And the color change of my electrochromic device uh, from yellow to blue, when the negative potential applied to electrochromic device, due to maximum absorption of my second polymer, uh, my second polymer revealed the yellow color. And in that state, the dot layer was in transparent blue. And that's why electrochromic device revealed the yellow color. But uh, when the applied potential uh, increased, uh, due to oxidation of the uh, pedot layer, uh, the blue color became dominant. And the electrochrome device also revealed the yellow color, a blue color. Uh, the genetic studies of the electrochromic device uh, also were conducted and uh, determined the switching times and person transmitter states of this device. Minimum switching time for the electrochromic device uh, was uh, 0.3 seconds. And also optical memory of electrochromic device were explored, uh, was explored and uh, optical memory is the ability of material uh, to retain its absorption state after the field uh, electric field is removed. We passed one second to this device and then uh, holding at open circuit conditions for 200 seconds and was evaluated optical memory. And also stability of electrochromic device uh, was evaluated by continuous sweeping uh, up to 500 cycles. Uh, you can see the my electrochromic device was very stable up to 250 cycles. Uh, here you can see the different type of smart windows. Uh, smart windows, you can control the passing of uh, sunlight into your home or a workplace. And uh, also you, you can use the transparent uh, smart windows as the TV screens or other game consoles and other screens. Uh, conclusion, uh, both uh, two monomers were synthesized according to donor acceptor theory. And the, uh, these monomers uh, polymerized via ether chemical way and then using a f one of them we used uh, to construct a trochromic device. Here are the references. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor Dr. Levent Topar and Abdusaid Azov and Yasemin Arslanudun for everything helps uh, more. And uh, also I would like to thank Horizon Education Agency uh, for uh, especially Anwar Mamadli and his team for organizing this amazing symposium. And thank you all for your attention.